Welcome to the engineering uh, coffee break. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, topics called you know, standards. Uh, my name is Frank Joop and um, one of the things I want to talk about these standards is that uh, it's a good thing. You know, don't misunderstand me. We need standards in engineering, but, uh, but the bad thing is uh, you know, there are that many of them and that, that is sometimes a challenge. I tried to uh, come up with a few examples. I mean, there are many more than that, you know, don't, don't be mistaken. But there are uh, standards that are specific to disciplines, you know, like IEEE is for the electrical engineer and the ISA, obviously, for the, uh, for the instrument guys. But then there are also ones that are very industry specific, like KKS is for the uh, Kraftwerke Anlage or uh, in good English, uh, the power plants. And then you have the, the ones that are specifically, you know, uh, developed in countries. Although they're used, you know, outside those countries as well. Uh, but uh, like DIN uh, is the Deutsche Industrie norm. Now, it's so many standards there that uh, it's sometimes difficult, you know, uh, to, to, to get them in, inside your, your engineering workflow and, and apply them in the right way. And, uh, but there are some, some initiatives like this PIP that creates practices. So this is, not this is not a standard. This is basically, they use the standards that are out there, like ISA or uh, ISO and IEEE, but they have developed practices how to best you know, implement those standards and also how to take advantage of the implementation you know, in terms of uh, giving benefits both in the engineering cycle as well as for the owner operator. So they basically use the existing standards and tell you how to apply them to take the benefits of them. Now, these standards need to be used in, uh, in engineering and design, of course. And uh, you know, this is uh, you know, a simple uh, example of a standard little pump uh, symbol. But of course, there is data associated with that. And we want to connect the pump to the pipelines. So there's connectivity. And then, of course, we have to understand you know, what this thing is. Well, we can see from the picture, we as engineers, we say, OK, this is a pump. But we also have to have sometimes some more information for this picture to understand the purpose and the function, especially when you're in the owner operator world, you know, and you get a print of the PID and you give it to uh, people like in maintenance, they need to understand, okay, pump, what type of pump, you know, and, and, and what type of function does it perform and how critical, for instance, is that, uh, that pump. So there's more information needed. And of course, it has a name, you know, the tech name there. And, uh, so that, that's, that's important. Now, I think in principle, when those standards were, were developed many years ago, it was of course first for you know, the hand-drawn uh, good old uh, you know, drawings, and then it was for cat pictures. And, and we all looked up the standards in the books, in the publications that the standards committees uh, produced. But you know, we moved on, we moved on from, from cat you know, just for the picture to a data-centric world. You know, we, ha we are there now for, for, for a long time, but I feel that these standards are kind of lagging, uh, lagging behind. They're focusing on uh, most of them, not all, I must say, most of them fo focus on the graphics. So the picture is there. And of course, a picture is great, you know, it's very flexible, you know, the designers or the, you know, can, can modify these pictures, uh, they can place text around it. It's very, very forgiving, very flexible. You can basically do whatever you want. And of course, when you go to a data-centric solution, it's not so forgiving because, you know, in the background there are rules and things you have to do in order to get that connectivity. So in that, in that case, you know, the data, the connectivity, and, of course, when you talk about integration with data center solutions, you know, this information is going to be used downstream. So, for instance, come back on the pump, you know, this symbol, when it is just a picture, uh, it's fine on the PNID, for instance, but what happens, you know, if we want to use it downstream and the piping guy needs to model that pump, you know, in, in the 3D model. So that's what I mean with downstream use, which was not so much the case in the old days when we just had, a, 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 you know, a picture on, on a, either hand-drawn or a cat drawing. So, I mean, these symbols and these standards, I think, are, would be beneficial if, if, uh, if they become uh, available in, in a, you know, data format, in an, in, not on paper, so that they can be used in these, uh, in these applications we have today, these data-centric applications, uh, these, de these tools for engineering and design, these modern tools. I feel the standards lag behind, and also you know, when, when uh, our customers or uh, APCs get these, uh, get these standards, they have to redraw uh, you know, these standards in, in whatever tool they're using. And I think you know, we need to move to that these standards are available on a website or online in, in a format that can be used in the 
this data centric world. So they have not only the graphics, but they have the ability to, you know, have the data associated with it and the tag number associated with it and have some some intelligent connectivity in there so that they can be used directly in these tools that will be so beneficial for us as engineers so we don't have to uh, just look up all these things in the books and redraw them and hopefully we draw them right. Now we can write, uh, write use them from, uh, from an electronic format, either like I said on a website or on a cloud or on, from a CD. But I think that will be, will be great uh, beneficial. So that's basically you know, my, uh, my pitch for, for the standards. Standards are good. I think you know there are too many of them sometimes. It's difficult to weed through them. I think there are some of them that come a little bit out of the CAD world and need to come forward and make it available in an electronic way so we can use them in the more modern tools and we can take advantage of them right away. That helps with the start of time of a project. And of course, I, I, I'm, I'm strongly you know, supporting these, uh, these committees. PIP is just one, but there are others that are looking, okay, these standards are there, how can we best you know, implement them and use them and take the maximum benefits uh, of these standards in the whole uh, life cycle of, of a plant. All right, that's uh, so far for standards for this coffee break. Uh, thanks for, uh, for joining me during your coffee break, and uh, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll talk again. Thank you.